Hi everybody and welcome back to Total OS Today. Alright, over the course of doing these videos and almost 400 videos over the course of two years I received many many uh, common popular questions concerning newbies or new users who want to try a Linux based operating system and or are curious about Linux. And some of the more popular popular questions are probably the ones that you've heard before. You know, which Linux-based operating system is the best? Is it better than Windows 7? Is it worse? Can I try it without installing it? Do I have to delete Windows 7? Will, will my games play? Will my Windows software install in Linux? And so on and so forth. But... I would have to say, based on my experience as a, as a dual booter and answering an untold number of questions, I would have to say that the number one Linux question, at least for new users, is can any Linux-based operating system completely replace a, win replace a Windows-based PC such as Windows 7. Well, the fairest or, or the most diplomatic answer I can give you is maybe. However, if you want me, wanted me to be more to the point and to be more perfectly blunt about it, the short answer, no, it cannot. But let me qualify that, that answer. If all you want to do is browse the web chat, you know, send and receive email, you know, play your music, stuff like that, then absolutely you can use a Linux-based operating system such as what I am using here, which is Ubuntu. I also would, would recommend Linux Mate or Linux Mint 13, the Mate edition, and I will be testing the Zorin 6 Ultimate Edition soon, but I can conf confidently say that Zorin OS 6 is going to be fine and Zorn OS looks the most like Windows. But if all you want to do again is browse the web, chat, play some of your music and stuff like that, sure, I don't think you'll have a problem with getting used to a Linux Linux based operating system and or compatibility usually. But at least for me, I've come across issues with graphics cards microphones, multimedia usage in Linux, and I'm not sure why, but uh, I have two brand new microphones, one mono, one stereo. They both work terrific in Windows 7. Uh, the mono one in Linux, I've had some issues, and those of you who listened to me in the past have heard some of the static, you know, in the, uh, you know, in the voice, in the microphone, and anyway, it, it doesn't happen in Windows 7. Uh, multimedia or video Editing, you know, I, I use Caden Live and it works 90% of the time, but, uh, you know, it's it's getting much, much better. And probably Caden Live really right now is the standard for video editing in, in Linux. Uh, another thing is uh, games. Now, to be fair, I do not play games on any PC, whether it's Windows or Linux. I have my Xbox 360 and that handles all of my gaming fun and I play my favorite game, Halo. Okay, uh, HD video, I still think it's still a little bit better in uh, Windows, a little bit smoother, although, although Linux has gotten much, much better over the years. If you run a laptop, I've noticed power management is a little bit better uh, in Windows. I've had issues with the screen locking up or a blank screen coming out of out of suspend and hibernation and stuff like that. Now none of those really are what I would call critical in terms of breaking you know the system where where it becomes uh, unusable. It's more of an annoyance if anything else. But as a complete replacement for Windows I have not come across uh, a Linux operating system. However Ubuntu, number 12, 12.04, Linux Mint 13, the Mate Edition, and Zorn 6, they come really close, but there's always, you know, there's always that that's something missing that's not quite polished, 
you know that one two three four pieces of software that quite doesn't work well as it should and that's why I still dual boot because I have to uh, I don't have a choice there are there have been times in the past where and a good example is I had the uh, the system crashed because I you know installed the ATI, dri ATI drivers and it just messed up the system I was able to dual boot back in Windows 7 to save my day but that being said you know unless something breaks I still kinda enjoy dual booting more into Linux than I do into, into Windows 7 I'll be honest about that and you know that's about as pragmatic and as unbiased an answer uh, you know that I can give you you know I suppose if I wanted to uh, you know change the format or, or had started the format of the channel with the with the premise that you know Windows 7 sucks use Ubuntu and I'm telling you as a dual booter you know I would probably have you know five million you know five million subscribers by now but that's that's for me that's not reality you know that's not reality and, and, and if, if that's what you want to hear you've come to the wrong channel but if you want to hear a uh, you know neutral view of operating systems at least from my experience then definitely give Linux a try you will be surprised just how good it is but once again the number one Linux question can any Linux based operating system completely replace Windows 7 the short answer no, but it's getting better. All right, thank you so much for watching as always, and I will catch you in your Linux future. Ciao.